Welcome back, O-Doers. Jose Ignacio here. Now, our virtual events are a great place for attendees to form and develop meaningful business relationships and network opportunities. It's what keeps them coming back year after year. Now, by providing community rooms as part of our virtual events, attendees have a chance to gather and discuss topics with like-minded individuals, which only enhances the overall experience. Now, thanks to Odoo, we have a lot of options to choose from. We could create rooms and have our employees lead them, or we can just as easily allow attendees to create their very own on the fly. Now, this gives them complete control of their own rooms, the subject matter, how many people can participate, and a whole lot of other options. So, enough chit-chat, as I will always say. Let's jump into our database and see just how easy it is to set up community rooms with Odoo Events. All right, Odooers, once again, we'll start on the event settings page. We're here because we'll need to activate the community chat rooms feature before we do anything else. With that enabled, attendees can engage and interact with each other in community rooms during our virtual events. Now, everything is already checked off. Our box is already done. And if it wasn't, you would hit save up here. And if you were lost on how to get here, Odooers, it's always the same. Configuration and settings. Just make sure you're in the events module. Now. Let's apply community rooms to one of our event templates. So we're going to go back to that configuration menu. We're going to select event templates. Which one do we change, Odoers? Conference. Let's change conference. Now, here we'll want to make sure our community box is checked off. And then we also want to make sure as well that our room creation one is checked off. Now, the reason why we want each of these is because the community link allows a header to appear on the website. And this makes it accessible to all of our attendees via a link up there in that header. Now, the allow room creation allows attendees to create their own rooms. And that's pretty useful if you want to, you know, have people do their own little chats. And that's pretty nifty. Okay, with all this squared away, let's go to our events page. So we're going to go back to our events. And we're going to select Openwood Collection Reveal. Now, let's check out the community rooms for this event. But first... Other thing that I want to make sure is that it's set to conference as well. You always want to make sure that the template is actually applied to your event and that it matches what you're doing. In our case, you'll notice we already got some rooms. Let's click up here, and here we are inside of our rooms. Now, let's build one from scratch because I think we need our own unique one. You can call it architectural fun times. Let's talk wood. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Our audience, Oop. architects, perfect. Now with this setup, you'll notice we have an is pinned option down here. Now this pins the room on the front end of my website, meaning it'll always be at the top of the community room list for my attendees to see and access easily. And for the purposes of Mark tutorial, we're going to select that. Now up next, we see a chat room link field participation or participant count and a max capacity option. And we can even choose a language as well here. And in our case, we will specify it as English. Now our max capacity here, I like the number 16. So we can select the number 16. Now it should be noted, however, that once a room reaches its full capacity, if a max capacity is set, because you also see we have no limit as well as an option, then it will become invisible on your website and inaccessible to your attendees. So be sure to keep that in mind as well. Now. Everything looks good here. I'm going to manually save and we're going to go to our website. And you'll notice first, we don't have it appear yet, but we want it to appear. So we actually have to publish this first. So in our case, we're going to hit published. We're going to close that out. Here's our face as well. Hello. Now, awesome. Let's hop over to this other tab to see how everyone, everything will look like for our attendees. And sure enough, there's our room right there. You'll see our title, our description, language, and how many architects are currently participating. And when we enter the room, as in we do here, all we have to do is type in a username, grant access to our computer's camera, microphone, or both. And then we click join meeting and we're in. It's that simple. Now, Let's jump back to our community page real quick to see how an attendee can quickly create their very own room. So in our case, we're going to click on community. And once that we're in here, you'll notice there's a very big button over here that says create a room. In our case, we're going to click it. 
And they fill out this form, which has the same fields that we saw on the back end. Once that you're all set, you just click create and your room will be instantly accessible for other attendees to access and participate in. And how cool is that? Now, as you can see, creating and engaging in community rooms with Odoo, it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, and it's also a great way to build lasting relationships and enhance the overall quality of your virtual events. Now, that's all for this video. Now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, Odooers.